everyone so this video is on converting between different units of speed so just some key information to start with uh, we need to know that there are a thousand meters in every kilometer there are 60 seconds in a minute and there are 60 minutes in an hour so you need to know these conversions before you can attempt this video there is another one that you might need to use and that is that there are five miles in every eight kilometers but if you do need to use that in an exam they will tell you so they'll give you that information and expect you to be able to use it so i'm going to do an example first so this example is convert 72 kilometers an hour into meters per second so the way i go about these problems is i always start by writing out whatever they've given me in the question which is 72 kilometers per hour write it out fully using words so 72 kilometers in an hour so as we're doing this we need to think realistically about what this means this means that a car is traveling 72 kilometers in every hour it might not be a car but i just always use car as an example now this is kilometers per hour and i want to change the kilometers into meters and change the hours into seconds so i need to do those two things and i'm going to do them sort of one at a time do them separately now you can do either one first you can either change the kilometers to meters first or change the hours to seconds but let's think about what that would mean if i'm going to change the kilometers into meters so if a car is going 72 kilometers in an hour it will be going well 72 times a thousand so 72,000 meters in an hour and that's fairly easy to do but if i try to change the hours into minutes first if it's going 72 kilometers in an hour then in every minute it's doing 60 times less and I'd have to work out what 72 divided by 60 is and it just starts getting a little bit more complicated because I'm going into decimals so when we're changing kilometers per hour into meters per second the easiest thing to tackle first is the kilometers so as I just said if I'm going 72 kilometers in an hour that will be 72,000 meters in an hour okay so again i'm just writing it out in full and i've changed kilometers to meters now that i've done that i've got my meters i need to get my seconds so 72,000 meters in an hour what will they manage to travel in a in a minute so let's go to minutes first so there are 60 minutes in an hour so 60 times less if i divide by 60 which is now easier to do this divided by 60 isn't as complicated so 72 divided by 6 gives me 12 so that's 12,000 and then if I divide by 10 as well um, I get 1,200 so 1,200 meters in every minute and then I'm nearly there now that's meters in a minute how many meters will they go in a second again that's 60 times less so if I divide by 60 again and again that's much easier to do now so 12 divided by 6 is 2 so that's 200 but then i need to divide by 10 as well because i'm dividing by 60 not 6 so it's 20 meters in a second so then i can just write my answer here using that notation m slash s so it's 20 meters per second now you have a go at this question on the right it's very very similar i've just changed the actual number here so follow these steps on the left and see if you can change um 54 kilometers per hour into meters per second so just pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the answer okay here's the answer then so 54 kilometers in an hour let's change kilometers into meters first just because that's a little bit easier to do than changing the hours into seconds so times by a thousand that gives me 54,000 meters in an hour and then i'm going to divide by 60 to get my hours into minutes and then if i divide by 60 again that will do minutes into seconds 
so I get 15 meters every second so 15 meters per second as you start to do these you'll you might realize that I can kind of skip a step here and to go straight from hours to seconds how many seconds are there in an hour well if I divide by 60 twice it's the same thing as dividing by 3600 okay so if you want to do that step of going straight from hours to seconds you can but I just find it easier to go from hours to minutes and minutes to seconds because it's easier to remember to divide by 60 twice than to divide by 3600 Okay, here's an example of going the other way then. So because converting between kilometers per hour and meters per second is quite a common question in exams, I thought I'll do one going the other way as well. So this is convert 10 meters per second into kilometers per hour. So again, I'm just gonna start by writing out in full. So I've got 10 meters in a second. So whatever this object is, car, it is traveling 10 meters every second. Now at this time, if I try and change 10 meters into kilometers first, I'm going to end up with some decimal. However, if I change seconds into minutes, then I don't end up going into decimals. So when you're converting meters per second into kilometers per hour, it's easier to change the seconds first. Okay, so like doing it the opposite way because we're doing it in reverse. So if something is traveling 10 meters every second, how far will it travel in a minute? Well, there are 60 seconds in a minute. It'll do 60 times that amount. So that's 600 meters every minute. And then if it can go 600 meters in a minute, how far can it go in an hour? Well, that's 60 times more. So then we get 36,000 meters in an hour. So if it can go 36,000 meters in an hour, how many kilometers is that? So there are 1,000 meters in every kilometer. So 36,000 meters is 36 kilometers. So 36 kilometers per hour. So again, you have a go at this one on the right. It's exactly the same. Um, I've just changed the number again. So follow these exact same steps and have a go at this question. Okay, let's go through the answer then. So again, I'm going to start by writing it out. I've got 25 meters in a second. Let's convert the seconds into hours first. So 25 meters every second, I can do 60 times that amount in a minute. So that's 1,500 meters in a minute. And then 60 times that again for in an hour. So 90,000 meters in an hour. And then 90,000 meters, what is that in kilometers? It is 90 kilometers. So that's the answer, 90 kilometers per hour. So now we're just gonna add in one extra step of working out, just take it up a notch. So this question says, use five miles equals eight kilometers to convert 45 miles per hour into meters per second. So this is just that one step harder because we're moving out of just met metric measures like kilometers, kilometers per hour, meters and meters per second into imperial measures, which is like the old system of measurements, which is miles and miles per hour. Now, you're not expected to memorize the conversions between metric and imperial. So they will always give you that statement um, in the exam. So five miles equals eight kilometers. You don't need to memorize that. But we're going to start with the same method, the same process. So I'm going to write out first that 45 miles per hour, 45 miles in an hour. That's what it means. So my car is going 45 miles in every hour. Now, I could start here by converting miles into kilometers, or I could start by converting hours into seconds. Now, if I go for hours into seconds here, it means I'm gonna have to divide by 60 twice. Now, that's gonna get quite complicated into decimals, and I don't wanna do that, especially if this is a non-calculator question. So you can do that if you've got a calculator, but if it's non-calculator, it's not ideal. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my miles. I'm going to convert it into kilometres first and then into metres eventually. So they've told me in the question that every five miles is eight kilometres. So what will 45 miles be in kilometres? Well, if I do 45 divided by five, I get nine. And then if I do nine times eight, I get 72. So 72 kilometres is the same as 45 miles. OK, so all I've done there is use this conversion that to get from five to 45, I'm multiplying by nine. So if I do eight multiplied by nine, I get 72. So that's my first step of working out. And I've just written there what I've done. I've done 45 divided by five, which is nine and then times by eight. So that's the same as 72 kilometers in an hour. And then this essentially is the same as the questions we've done before. It's just this one added step um, to compute. So 72 kilometers in an hour, what is that in just meters? So 72 kilometers is 72,000 meters. And so I've got my meters now. I just need to get the hours into seconds. So if they're doing 72,000 meters in an hour, in a minute, they will do 60 times less. So divide by 60, that's 1,200 meters in a minute. And then what is that in every second? Again, 60 times less, divide by 60, and I get 20 meters in a second. Right, here's one for you to do. And instead of giving you one that is exactly the same this time, where you're basically just following these steps down, I thought I'd give you one sort of the opposite. So this question is, use five miles equals eight kilometers to convert five meters per second into miles per hour. So I want you to go the other way, the opposite way to what I did here. Let's see if you can work this out for yourself. So again, pause the video and unpause when you're ready for the answer. OK, let's go through it then. So five meters in a second. What is that going to be in every minute? Well, I'm going to times that by 60. So I get 300 meters in a minute. How far will that mean they travel in an hour? Well, again, times by 60. And I get 18,000 meters in an hour. And then convert the meters into kilometers first. So that's 18 kilometers in an hour. And then finally, and this is where it could be a calculator question, but not necessarily if they really wanted to test you, because 18 divided by 8 is 2.25. And then you need to then times that by 5, which gives you 11.25 miles an hour. Last little step there in that one would indicate that this would probably be on a calculator paper, this question. But I just wanted to make you aware that the answers are not necessarily all going to be whole numbers. You might get a decimal answer and that is OK. Just double check through your work and if you're pretty confident, a decimal answer is fine. So 11.25 miles an hour on that question. Thank you for watching my lesson. I'm Mrs. Jagger. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up below and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.